step forward expanding Medi-Cal health care coverage. And 23 ABC's Tiffany Martin is in studio to explain how some local health care experts say some local Kern County residents may still go without health care access. Tiffany? Todd, the Affordable Care Act will greatly reduce the number of uninsured, but three to four million Californians will still rely on safety nets made up of public hospitals like Kern Medical Center for health care access. But a new budget cut could threaten to cut their funding. A television ad running in some areas of California by California Endowment is calling for continued health care access for everyone. Does that mean everyone, everyone? Does everyone include me? Including illegal immigrants. The health care group wants to assure that those who can't afford insurance will still have some type of access. But as a health foundation, again, we have to look at the health of the state. And we don't think those million Californians are going anywhere anytime soon. Most of them are working at jobs, going to school, paying taxes. However, a new budget proposal from Sacramento would shred Kern County's health care safety net of covering the uninsured. If we don't have the funds, we will, ha we will be made decisions to have less access, longer wait times, and we don't want that. We want to be able to provide the best access we can to all uh, Kern County residents, not just a portion of Kern County residents. Supporters gathered today at Kern Medical Center to urge the expansion of Medi-Cal and ensure county safety net dollars remain in place so no one is left behind. We really think that there should be a good safety net for people who fall on hard times so that they can be able to bounce back from that and be able to contribute to society again. Supporters said the Affordable Care Act would strengthen the health care system, but time is of the essence. And come January 1st, 2014, unless you made uh, certain exceptions, uh, most of us will have to comply with the law, which means we have to get um, health care coverage. The federal government would pay for the expansion for the first three years, so supporters say there should be no reason to take the county's health care dollars now. Todd, Jackie.